I had a lot of subscribers asking me to make merch for the Charger build, so I did. So if you wanna get some merch, just go to my YouTube channel and on the store tab, we have a bunch of different things right here. And what I ordered for myself was a Rampage shirt, which has the logo for the car, and it's in the same or similar color as a car. There's a bunch of different colors, but I like the blue. Also, if you wanna get your girls some leggings, got some leggings right there, or if I have any girls watching my channel, I'm not sure, but I think those are pretty cool. We got some sweats, we got some socks, we got some stickers, we got a, a, like a, a water cup or a mug and a water cup, but uh, you know, check it out. If you wanna support the build, this is a really good way and you get some cool merch at the same time. But yeah, let's get back to building the charger. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be working on the charger and what I'm gonna be doing today is actually working towards getting this thing 100% wet sanded and polished. So I already have this whole side wet sanded and I've already polished quite a bit of it, but I'm gonna go back. There's a few areas that I didn't like and I've already started getting the side skirts all polished up. But the reason I'm doing this before I stick all the drivetrain in is because I want it protected. I'm gonna be, you know, once I get the drivetrain in it, I wanna drive it and I'm working with a company that is going to provide the clear bra and the installation. So we need to get this thing done. I need to have it bake in the sun for a couple days as well. I've already had it out in the sun for probably, so far like five days on the warm days just so we can get this paint nice and baked. The only thing that's really new is the body. So everything else was painted, the fenders and the bumpers and the hood and all this stuff was painted months ago. So it's had time to degas. The only thing that's really gonna be iffy is the body of the car, which has probably only had almost two months, which really is a requirement. Like 60 days is a requirement for paint protection film, 60 to 90 days, depending on who you ask. But um, you know, I have had it in the sun baking, so I don't think we'll have any issues, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of uh, wet sanding and buffing. Um, you know, I've already had probably at least an hour and a half in getting the skirt ready, and we'll just kind of go from there. So uh, yeah, let's get to work on this. I also got some marker lights, which I'm gonna install those after I get closer, but yeah, I went for the smoked look. I really think this is gonna look good just because the, I don't know, I don't really like the amber look and I think that looks so much better. So these are just white. They're just pretty much running lights, but they're white instead of orange and red. I really, I don't know, I really dislike the orange and red lights. So we'll put those in and then uh, I'll probably have them put paint protection film over that over the headlights and uh, maybe even over the tail lights. And then I have one Hellcat mirror in, uh, that I ordered off eBay, but it came damaged. So uh, I should be able to fix it. But yeah, it just pretty much poked through the box. I need to send some pictures to the seller. Um, I don't, yeah, here's the box right here. Pretty much just, uh, you know, shipping. It just stabbed through and they just kept slamming it on the ground. But yeah, I should be able to fix that and use it. Also, the mirror cap got uh, pretty scuffed up, but since I'm using the ones I've already painted, which are is really, really nice, I don't have to worry about that. Those are gonna get paint protection film as well. And then I need to finish painting all the door handles. I may have them apply the paint protection film afterwards, but we need to have everything ready to uh, to go. Once, once, they, uh, once they get the car, I want it done within like, you know, within like a couple days, which will be really nice. So, and we'll do a video of that as well. So let's get to work, finish polishing this. And uh, the roof is probably gonna be the hardest part, but the roof and the hood are the biggest parts of the car. So
He's actually installing a bunch of parts that I ordered for it from a guy. I guess he watches my channel, which is really awesome. And he really hooked me up on these parts because I've been trying to find... So what I've been trying not to do is go and buy a, uh, a bunch of cars. I'm just trying to buy a Trackhawk for parts and not having to buy a Challenger and a Charger. And it's just really adding up buying a bunch of parts cars. So I got a bunch of parts from a Charger, a Hellcat, a 2021 Red Eye, which is really nice. Also, another thing, I ordered the Rivnuts. If you guys remember when I rebuilt the Hellcat, I had a really big issue. So these Rivnuts down here, they hold the, there's a cooler here for the supercharger. It's an auxiliary, auxiliary cooler and there's a bracket that bolts to it. So those rib nuts are very hard to find. And when you buy brand new frame rails from Dodge, those rib nuts don't come installed in them. So I'm gonna give you guys, do you guys all a favor. Here is a part number for those rib nuts and you just need a quantity of three of them. So I thought I did this already in my previous video when I rebuilt that and then it took me about three days to figure out what rib nuts went into those frame rails once again. So now we have them in a video and I could just reference this video from, you know, from, from now on because I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna be rebuilding a Hellcat or a Trackhawk or something else and those rib nuts are, they were a pain to find. So let's unbox this stuff that I got and I'll show you exactly, you know, there's quite a few boxes there. We'll uh, just kind of go through everything and hopefully we can get this thing one step closer and uh, maybe a little, maybe a little bit lower because it'll have a little bit more weight in there. The more stuff I add in there, the lower it gets. So just finished unboxing everything and everything looks really, really good. Um, besides the intake, it looks like it got damaged in shipping. So I may have to see if he had insurance on there. If not, I mean, I could pop that back out and glue it, but it's just kind of disappointing. UPS kind of, I think it was UPS. Yeah, UPS kind of uh, threw that stuff around the box for this was kind of damaged, but uh, it is what it is. I didn't, you know, I paid something for it, but it wasn't as much as uh, these are like, these are like a thousand, like 1200 bucks for this full assembly. The radiators, you know, the same thing. I think the radiators are like almost two grand for this whole assembly right here because it has the, uh, the transmission cooler in it, it has a low temp cooler um, for the supercharger. So I have that cooler. I have this one, which is uh, the fins are a little bit damaged. I'll try to probably, uh, if I don't end up buying another one of these because these are pretty cheap, these coolers right here, I'll probably just end up straightening the fins out. I also got a pump. So this pump right here is uh, the newer style, which I had to buy one for my Hellcat and it was 1500 bucks. And uh, he actually sent me a bunch of new lines as well, which is really nice, as well as the bolts, um, some AC lines he threw in there, which are brand new. And then uh, I got the, I need the AC lines for the chiller. So this is the, uh, the AC to water. Uh, thing that's on the demons or the demons and the red eyes and all the new um, red eyes as well the charger red eye and then i also have all the piping right there for the supercharger cooler so um all the lines and stuff it just kind of nickeled and dimed me before i'm just really happy that i was able to find all that stuff from from one guy and also used as well as this bracket he actually ended up having this bracket right here because it's a two-piece bracket and that really helped out as well. So this is the piece that bolts the rib nuts that I just showed you on the frame rail. And then this piece bolts to that piece and it's just a bunch of pieces that bolt together. So we'll start putting this in. I need to still put the, uh, the thing that holds the radiators in on the bottom of the, um, the cross member piece. And then we can get the radiators in. I'll probably just stick the intake in there so it's not laying around. I'll put the rib nuts in all the way, and then I'll bolt this stuff in, and then we'll start routing all this, this hose stuff because it can all go in there. So another thing that I ended up getting was four Hellcat struts. So the reason I got these was because I have to kind of splice between Hellcat and Trackhawk struts because the Trackhawk has a thing on the bottom here, but I need to shorten the strut because if I have the Trackhawk with that fork, it's way, way too high. And uh, that's what Jose was running into. I forgot to mention it to him. And he was like, oh man, I, I was breaking my back trying to get this, this stuff compressed. I was like, oh yeah, the struts are way too long. So yeah, some Hellcat struts 
I think with some um, track hawk bottoms, or I think that if I just cut the, the welds on this and grind it down, I think these slip in the same, but I have the track, I think I have both track hawk ones where I could cut that little uh, thing off if I need to weld it to that. Hopefully I don't have to shorten it too crazy, but um, you know, these are also very expensive because they have the electronic dampening. Uh, these ones look like they probably came off a lot older car because they're kind of rusty, but uh, you know, if they work, they work for now. And then we'll just kind of go from there. Just finished sanding the charger hood in thousand grit and I'm very, very happy with how the car is coming out. I thought I was gonna be able to get further than I did, but I'm really happy that the hood is now sanded because it doesn't look like it's that big, but it's actually, it took me like an hour and a half to get this blocked out. So I, I hope the roof isn't gonna take, it's probably gonna take like five hours to do the roof, but 
we'll get it done. Once the roof is done though, that carbon fiber is really, really gonna pop. Another thing, the whole, look at this right here. So if we look at the side of the car, look at the garage door, and then look at the paint. Man, that looks good. All that time and effort. Also, I got the rear flares on, and look how fat she is. The back of that flare, it's uh, not clipped in, but it's still pretty close. I mean, I can't wait to have this thing lowered with, uh, with fat wheels and tires on there, and uh, she's gonna look really, really good. Um, so one thing is this clear is very, very hard to polish. It's, uh, it's a very hard clear, which I, I like and I don't like at the same time because it's very hard to polish. But what I've seen in people's, um, you know, people's paint jobs and stuff, they use these microfibers right here and uh, the, the microfiber scratches a soft clear. This clear is so hard. Here, we'll, we'll zoom in to a spot. So we, we got this, that I could rub my finger on this and it won't scratch it. I've had friends that painted their cars and you rub their, they, they had to ceramic coat their paint because every time you'd rub your hand across it, you'd have to buff the scratches out. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with the paint from Sherwin-Williams. Like I said before, they were working with me. They helped me out big time on this and I've used their product for a bunch of different builds and cars and stuff that I've painted. And I always like the quality of the paint and you know how how nice it it ends up and looks and lasts and i mean i've you know my 3000 gt i painted my truck i painted it my truck sits outside i just take it through the touch washes all the time never have an issue so um you know you have to do the prep but other than that it's uh it's one of those things where i'm really happy with the quality of the product and that's why i use it and uh, that's kind of why i promote their product so if you're looking for automotive paint check out sherwin williams and then, uh, yeah, we, I really can't wait to have the hood buffed, the roof buffed, and then I'm working with a company that's gonna paint, uh, put paint protection film on here, which I really can't wait till the PPF's on here because then, even though this hard clear is on there, um, my Hellcat, um, I guess the harder the clear is, the easier it chips. So my Hellcat has some chips on it over there, but with the PPF on there, I won't have to worry about any chipping or any of that stuff. So I won't have to worry about driving this car around and having, you know, you know, when you drive around and you have, uh, you're behind someone and you hear the rocks hitting your paint and stuff and you're just cringing. Um, around here, we're like in the desert. So when the wind blows too hard, it's like sandblasting your car. So I can't wait till the PPF's on there. It'll look super, super fresh for SEMA. And then also, I'm really happy that a subscriber helped me out with all the cooling system stuff. I do need to still find that bracket. So I'll probably just end up ordering one from Dodge that holds the cooler bottle over there. But, um, and also I need the hose that goes from the, uh, the low temp radiator right here to the, uh, the chiller cooler for the, the red eye. So I'll probably just order that as well. And uh, then I need the AC lines that go from the red eye chiller to the Hellcat AC lines. And then uh, I probably need tranny, tranny lines as well. So I'm getting very, very close um, with the cooling system. I'm really happy that I got these assemblies because now, um, you know, I just, I'm just more at ease because this is done really, um, really what I need is I need to find Trackhawk wiring, ECM, body control module, all that stuff. I pretty much need to find somebody that's parting one out and I could just buy all the wiring or um, I need to find one at the auction, which I have. I'm just waiting for some of them to go through, but I can't wait too long because a subscriber on my live stream, you know, when you're looking at the, the calendar, it doesn't look like SEMA is that close, but they said it was 163 days away, which that kind of put me um, in like this, this mode of like, I need to hurry up because I, I felt I felt like I have had more time, but still 160 day, 163 days is a lot of time. But at the same time, it's not. So we'll uh, we'll be getting this uh, thing running and driving, and uh, I need to start making the subframes, and I need to start doing a bunch of stuff. I need to figure out interior. So if you know anybody that has interior, um, 
you know, just message me on my email. It's in the description or on Instagram. So I'm looking for the peanut butter interior. That's the Alcantara peanut butter um, in the door panels. So if I can get the, the all four seats, all four door panels, I'll be very, very happy. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not too worried about paying for stuff. Uh, if, you know, if you have it for sale, you know, I'll, I'll pay you what it's worth. So also I need a, a Challenger uh, 20 up dash and uh, I need the center console from a Hellcat. So that's another thing that I need. So Trackhawk wiring, um, complete wiring, Challenger dash, center console, charger, Hellcat, peanut butter, Alcantara interior. So if you know anybody has any, let's try and get rid of them or parting a car out, just email me, DM me on Instagram, and it'll really, really help this build move forward. And uh, I also, you know, I'm really happy that I got those struts over there from the Hellcat and uh, not this Hellcat from a, you know, from a parts Hellcat. Yeah, so um, I can't wait. I'm, I'm really, really excited, but I'm gonna end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.